Hey guys, it's Matt. This is actually chapter 38. Chapter 37 was called the Band Book Chapter, presented on freevoice.io. For those that listen to it, no, there's no way I could have presented that you know where. Chapter 36 started the questions and answers, and who knows how long this is going to go. Chapter 42, chapter 40, how many questions there are, how many questions I still need to write out. So the first question, which was the entirety of chapter 36, was how long has this thing been here? How long has Not Milk been here? And that was a whole chapter for one question. This will maybe do two, three, four questions. I'm not sure. The first one is rather big. What does as above, so below mean? And with a question of that magnitude, a proviso is in order, of course, because I can hear many of you yelling at me already. Who the heck do you think you are, you arrogant son of a beach? What Hermes tres majestus majestus trice great? What's he thrice great at? He addressed it. Other great scholars addressed it. Who you think you are, you frayed sweatshirt wearing son of a... Okay, here, here's the deal. I, I, I've looked and studied Not Milk for 15 years. I found when I go out to try to find the answer, you know, it's not there. That's what my own interpretation I've always found to be best based on long experience in doing this. I'll look to you in your comments to see if anything that I have to bring forward on this important topic has any merit. You can decide. I'm not going to sit up here and arrogantly say, Madam Blavatsky was wrong. I don't even know if she wrote, what she wrote about. I ain't read a word of that. I don't even know what the hell the Theosophical Society is. I tried to look up in the yellow pages once. It wasn't there. Many years ago, I called the Directory Assistance 411. I don't know if that still exists or whatever. We have the internet now. And it's it, city and town, please. Um, I don't have city and town, but I just, here's what I have. Theosophical Society. I'd like their phone number, please. City and town. I don't have a city and town. Just look that up. One moment, please. I... I have nothing, sir, on theosop, whatever you said, society, theosophical society, if I'm even getting that right. Search cross-reference Blavatsky. You got anything? What's the spelling on that, sir? I don't know the spelling. Do the best that you can. B-L-A Blavatsky. Do the but One moment, sir. There's 400 Blavatskys across 20 U.S. states. Do you have a first name, sir? For Madam. Madam? Madam? All I got's madam. <laughs> Did you have anything? Cross-reference Blavatsky, add the word madam, Theosophical Society. Sir, I'm hanging up. If you call here again, I'll trace the call and have the cops sent to your house. The point is, guys, using that strange example, that for anything big in life or important, I found there is no answer out there. You can take little pieces, but you have to form it yourself. But Matt, you're presenting a questions and answers. Yeah, I might have some good ideas. Some good ideas you can use. Maybe take, if it's 10 parts in a soup, take five parts from me. I hope you take my five ingredients. Then take the five for yourself. I bring a few ingredients to the table. I'm not going to sit up here like some arrogant son of a beach and tell you exactly what something is. I get certain comments from time to time. Matt, you're presenting definitively. Well, yes. Do you want me to say after every sentence, it's my opinion? In my opinion, the Holy Grail means this. In my opinion, this is why it appeared in Monty Python, then the Holy Grail. In, you want that every time? I'll say it definitively. I think it goes without saying that I don't have all the answers and this is my opinion. Okay, put that proviso in too, whatever that means. So the first question for chapter 38 is, what does as above, so below mean? And yeah, I'm going to take a crack at it myself, if you can believe somebody could be that arrogant, without actually referring to Hermes, Tresmagistus, thrice whatever, he's triple times great, never read a word of it. I, got, I like some of your quotes, Hermes, if you're listening to me. I don't know what tr thrice great means, or why you were three times great at what, or even at anything. I don't know. Is that related to the Commodores, three times a lady? I don't know, but I'm going to take a crack at this, and I think I have the right to do that. First off, I'll say nobody knows exactly what it means, and interpretations vary widely. I've heard oh, 10, 15 interpretations that all have merit, some quite different than the others. All that matters in the end of the day after this presentation is what it means to you. If I go around to all the libraries and all the old and rare books rooms and search it out for years and knock on doors of lodges and say, can I see your book room, please, and search it out, yeah, I could maybe I could pick up some bits and pieces. That's not going to be as important as what it means to you. Supposedly, this is the full quote from the Hermetic texts. Its first part is as above, so below, then as within, so without, 
as the universe, so the soul. One last time, if you hear anybody say definitively what it means, and they're going to tell you, and they're not open to any other interpretations, run away, run away fast. There's no doubt that this is one of the most important, quote, esoteric and occult phrases in the history of existence. We should pay attention to it, of course, and see where its application applies in our own lives. All the tens of thousands of times it's shown up in the world, usually through artistic presentations, or in movies, in books, or references here, references there. Of course, the masses don't notice any of it. At this point, we notice most of it. It's all over the place. In The Matrix, Morpheus does the obvious as above, so below, Baphomet arm point pose at the beginning of The Matrix, just when Neo is starting to understand his predicament. You know, he says, this is the construct program, the Baphomet point, as above, Caligula, Caligula, whatever that damn it, Baph- one is as above, so below. It's also the famous pose that Jack is doing at the end of the movie, The Shining, as the camera pans in on the black and white picture, the same Baphomet, as above, so below. Matt, because the Baphomet does it, that make it evil? No, no. We'll talk. We'll talk about that. Whatever that tit man thing is, we'll talk about that a little bit later. I'm no expert on it, but it's fun to talk about tit man. It's the pose of Jack at the end of The Shining. Pick a, another form of art. Dungeons and Dragons book I've talked about in videos in the past. The deities and demigods book clearly on the cover is an as above, so below presentation. One could spend an entire life searching for as above, so below presentations in art, and it would not be a wasted life. No, that would be a wasted life. You'd be better off looking for the perfect flower blossom. Searching endlessly and trying to find out what as above, so below means is you're never taking a final interpretation for yourself and leaving the rest of the nonsense behind, leaving the esoteric tomes behind for good. One of the main plays in the playbook of this dark reality, or asshole dark or not milk system, is the endless interpretations that you can go search out. Therefore, it keeps you from ever putting the cement on your own interpretation. It's a master at that. First off to consider as we continue our analysis, am I to believe that the not milk has not tampered with this one, as it seemingly has tampered with everything of importance? If you look around, uh, what is the not milk left alone if it's important in a real human being understanding this world in itself? Uh, is there anything that it hasn't messed with? What? Nothing? It's messed with everything? Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's the problem. Am I to believe that these phrases are exactly as Hermes put them forth? That's most people's first mistake. Oh, here's the exact quote. Let's break it down. Well, then you're everything after. It's wrong if you assume the quote is exact. And also, if you assume many times, it's literal, with one exception, of course, that it is some form of stuffed Lenin or Humpty Dumpty that the not milk can't tamper with. It's truth that has to be carried through time per the rules of this game, the way many people will defend the Bible, say that they can't mess with that per the contractual rules of this game. That's how, you know, personally to me, nothing of importance is straight up and literal. You always have to see it from a different direction, which I'll do here. Most Humpty Dumpties carried through time uh, don't just tell a real person what it needs to know. Look at the story of Humpty Dumpty in and of itself. People just, 9,000 people out of 9,001 uh, see nothing but a cute little nursery rhyme that has no spiritual meaning. They don't see spiritual meaning in The Wizard of Oz. It, so, in other words, even though it can't be messed with, it's still almost never literal. You have to say, well, what's Humpty Dumpty had a great fall mean? What is putting it, why is it trying to put itself back together? It's still never clearly on the first level literal, so it doesn't really matter. You always have to find the answer in a roundabout way. So I think to find the real meaning in As Above, So Below, or the full phrase from Hermes Thrice Great, you have to reverse it, or at least reverse the first part, As Above, So Below. I think So Below, As Above, is far more important. Not, it, that's the way I, a lot of people repeat it, and then they repeat it back in the opposite fashion. I think there's a reason for that, and there's more truth when it's presented like that. We'll talk about it. The middle part, I think, it should stand on its own. What is it? As within, so without. That I wouldn't reverse. We'll talk about it. I'd reverse the last part, which is the, supposedly the, the exact quote from Hermes, thrice great. I don't know what, he's, what he was great at, but he was three times great, three, three blue ribbons. 
As the universe, so the soul. No, reverse it. As the soul, what is it, would it be? <laughs> as the universe, so the soul. So the soul, as the universe. Reflection outward, not as the universe, so the soul. The universe, it's worry about yourself. What, what's going on in the universe outside? It don't, you have armor, it don't affect you one bit. No, it doesn't, the soul doesn't go where the universe goes. That's a horse shit, horse shit. So the soul out, reflects out, the universe then reflects back. It, you have to reverse it. We'll talk about those details a little bit later, hopefully not get too much into the weeds. But first thing to do, just go up to 100,000 feet. In general, what does your inner knowing tell you? What does it mean to you? I'll tell you what it means to me. The phrase assists me in confirming what I already knew, the most important realization in all of existence. That's all it does. That well, for this all, all existence as we're in the body, as we are here, this existence, that this material place is just a very small part of the whole. That's it. This place is a tiny part of the whole. And the final part of the understanding is just as important or even more important, that what happens here in this place matters as above, so below. So below, as above, the arrows point in both directions. That's why I think reversing it for the first part of what Hermes laid down is actually more important. What happens here matters. It acknowledges something greater, at least. It acknowledges the above, something Don Lemon never does. At least it says, as above, that acknowledges that there's more than this, something Don Lemon and those creeps never do. I think the first part of the phrase, and particularly reversing it, the, having the importance reversed, is very in line with what Tony told me about the relationship between real people here and the other part of you or higher self that's not here. So to me, the as above is a reminder that there's a spiritual part of me that's not here, and as above, so below, as within, so without, etc., tells me all parts are connected and interrelated between you here, temporarily in this place called Earth, and other parts of you, whether you call them higher self, God, or something else. Very simple. Your as above self needs you here to win, to do what it needs to do. It says this life is important. As below, so above. We don't have to know exactly what the above is. Another aspect of you, the heavens, it doesn't matter. It's showing the connection. We know that exists intuitively. If science, they, you blinded me with science. Yeah, thank you, Thomas Dolby. Thanks for the truth. If science and Neil the grass fed and people like that and Pikachu can fuck you over into thinking you evolved from Monkey Man and came from an explosion in space, if it can do that sort of shit, it can do its job for the not milk, then science, as well as most not milk systems, can keep you from understanding why you're here why you were here and what you're supposed to do. It's the same two sentences every time. The as above, so below kind of works for them too. Screw you below, which then screws you above. That's what the not milk is all about. It loves the phrase too. It screws you here. That's, then that screws you there. So I don't know exactly how as above, so below applies to Melvin and his bank account, but I know how it applies to the job that the role players are here to do to you. They probably have their own interpretation of as above, so below, written at the grove, you know, carved into a tree above San Francisco in the, in the grove. But their interpretation is not, it's not what you need to spiritual understanding, as above, so below. They got their own phrase carved into a tree. Fuck them here, fuck them there. You can screw these people over. What are we gonna, how are we going to screw these people this week, Bezo? We screw them over here in their life as they live it out here. We get our job done here from their perspective, saying that's what Melvin says around the table. We screw them here, then we screw them there. We screw their higher selves. We screw them down here. It reflects up, and we do our job. Our job expands beyond this place. It's, that's what's really carved in the damn redwood tree. F them here, F them there. What is it? Weep, creeping... Sp Weaving spiders <laughs> come not here. What the hell does that mean? I, I say weaving spiders. I love spiders in the house. I, I said all the spiders come in. Weaving spiders, you're invited. I don't know what the heck the grove's talking about. And who's calling me, damn it? It was Greg calling me. Sounds horrible. Sick as a dog. Positive C the me V test. Okay, everybody that I know that had to do the renting of the movie, uh, there was reasons he's under a state system, he had to do it. Um, 
they all have they all have it. Everybody I know, everybody that I know, I'm sure it's not quite this simple, but everybody that I know that didn't rent that Carl Weathers movie, I haven't been sick for five years, I, and nobody has it. Everybody that went and got it has it. But the, I'm sure, let me apologize. The justification, of course, is always from Pam and everyone else's. Matt, it would have been far more severe if we didn't do I, I apologize. That's right. I'll never say it again. Let's get back to what we were talking about. But Matt, what is your interpretation of what many smart sco- scholars have put forth regarding the as above, so below? The, the, something about a war in the heavens and whatever's happening out of the war in the heavens and it reflects down here. And that's why our society and culture is being flushed down the tubes. And what's going on up there? The war in the heavens. What the hell are they talking about? What a bunch of horse shit. War in the heavens. What does that even mean? The people spout it. And then some will say, Matt, you're taking a pot shot at this channel. That I've heard this bullshit war in the heavens many times, whatever that even means, over the past 10, 12, 15 years. I'm not thinking of any one channel, or I don't know who said it. I, I don't listen. Let me tell you one thing, guys. Somebody will make a comment. Matt, you're taking a shot at this channel. No, I'm not. I don't listen to anything regularly. If I, uh, you know, certain things are shown to me, of course. It knows uh, what my interests are. Once a month, uh, you know, a Howdy McCoskey video. Oh, I, I, I like the topic. I'll read the title. I'll watch it. Um, once a month, Jason, I'll watch it. I don't watch anything regularly. You know, I watch more movie reviews and ridiculous things like The Critical Drinker. And I watch, well, if you're watching thousands of hours of stove videos in Russian, it doesn't leave much time for anything else now, does it? So to summarize, whatever horseshit flies around about war in the heavens, I don't even know what that means. And it is re- absolutely ridiculous to me. So let's look at the second part of the famous quote that's not as focused on that Hermes put forth. It's as within so without, okay, that, that is, I'm taking more straight up literal from Hermes. You're once, twice, three times a great man. That's what they, you know, little, let me, that's what Lionel Richie was really writing about. That's, is that Commodores or Lionel Richie on his solo career? As within, so without, taking it more literally. What is inside you or how many of a real people there are here reflects out Society and culture is a reflection of those that generate, in some way, the reality. The reality doesn't go down the tubes and being flushed down the Pope's abyss on its own. It has to put the collective state of real people, how many, again, however there many there are of us here, has to degrade them, and then society is a reflection of that. I, You know, this is not... Uh, my area of expertise, but the smartest people will say, no, it's not It's not society as the f- Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is at the front of Santa's sleigh, and then it, it, then it takes down everything behind it. It takes down or degrades the, the, the collective consciousness or the spiritual level of the real people here, and then that then reflects out in society and culture Reflect that as, think of how many ways society and culture is just a disgusting bastardization of what anybody could have possibly imagined in the 70s, 80s, or 90s. As within what's in here, then that's reflected out there, so without, out there in society and culture. That one I'm taking pretty straight up, literally. And it's the same with the secret or the power of attraction, even the fake it to make it. You believe, you absolutely know and believe that somebody's going to be a success in this way or, or get certain things. It, 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 the reality in some way reflects that, but it's been corrupted. And, you know, we talked about the secret, and I, I read passages from that secret of the ages, the old text from the 1920s. Um, that power of as within then is reflected out has been corrupted, or at least the not know tries to corrupt it via well your power then is is manifest in the things that the not know wants materialism wealth silver and gold fame celebrity it has all real people wanting to reflect out all the wrong things regarding the not nilk which is the role player here in this reality and its minions it is only comfortable in a certain type of society or reality and it needs, it can't do it on its own. It needs the real people to do it for it. 
it can't build its own house. I don't have a good example right now. Like we, we picture what we're told what a pig likes to roll around and be in sloppy mud, or I don't know. I never raised pigs as a kid, but let's just assume that that's true. A pig on a farm can't create the pen in that situation itself. It needs the farmer. So the, the, the not milk needs the society and culture, the whole environment or the frequency or its energies to be in something that it likes. And it, it then needs to pre present a trick. So real people then lay down the reality that it needs to thrive. It's only doing uh, what it was in, intended to do. It's only playing the role that it was given in this reality system. It's very similar to the Star Trek Next Generation, the Borg. Okay, the, the Borg need a certain environment to thrive. And I've talked about this many times. Every time they invaded the Enterprise or came on and nobody knew, the, the humidity controls, or, you know, it starts getting warm and humid and the environmental controls change. And, you know, it was, you know, then the Borg has invaded. They need their reality or their environment to be a certain way to thrive. Now, in this case, the Borg just went into the computer system with their little tentacles and they changed it. But say the Borg couldn't do it on their own, they would then need to play a trick before Geordie LaForge or play a trick before Captain Picard or Riker. So they would be tricked into changing the environmental controls and the humidity and whatever. So then the not, not, the not milk slash Borg is then comfortable. This thing here is comfortable you know, maybe it has to do with frequency, resonance, a certain type of energy or what, how, whatever we're producing. Maybe it can see what we're producing, like an aura, the way some people can see auras. It can't do it. It can't just turn the volume up to whatever frequency it wants. Or cre it needs real people to create that situation or scenario that it's most comfortable in. And it does that, of course, by and through a trick. The Not Milk loves to create that police lineup of bad guys that can be pointed at, that can be complained about, even people sitting on their stoop just complaining about the government. It's never them, it's somebody else doing it. I mean, that you just take the rule of opposites. Matt, the rule of opposites applies again with, with us? Again, the rule of opposites. If people can say, this government is responsible, or this uh, dictator, or this corrupt situation in Belarus, this is, it's all outside of ourselves when it, it's all being generated from real people out, as within, so without. The more bad guys that it can create, that can be pointed at, the more people, once again, fooled and tricked into thinking it's coming from those bad guys. Those bad guys, almost metaphysically, are a reflection of human being, not 2.0, then 10.0, then 666.0, the human being, spiritual nature being reduced in some way, being lowered. And if it, for the no consequences people, if, it, if no part can be taken, then at least the real being is reflecting the wrong energies, the wrong resonance, the wrong frequency. Tesla's, the key to understanding the universe, is frequency, harmonics, resonance, or whatever. Well, yeah, because that comes from real generated generator people like a power plant, and the society reflects it. You people, idiot generator beings, are pointing at the society. Oh, that damn government, that damn Elon Musk. They're pointing at everything. It all comes from, here's the, that's why this whole statement is so important. As above, so below. As within, so without. We got that one out of the way. What's the last part of this horse shit? As the universe, so the soul. I got to stop and think about this one. What the hell is that last part? Nobody's ever heard of this last part. Matt, if you've never heard of the last part of this incredibly important phrase from Hermes Three Times a Lady, aren't you going to go research it? No. If there's one thing to learn from this entire channel, no. You know enough. Analyze it on your own. Don't read another page. As the universe, so the the soul. This is one, again, that I implied earlier. Uh, I had never heard about this part before today. Um, I, you have to reverse it, in my opinion. As the universe, so go, goes the soul. No way. No. What is your inner knowing and tuning for? Everybody listening to me is like, no way. The armor we have, this whole universe, a reality around us, and it, it doesn't... Re it, we can... Every bit of it, how it tries to reflect on us, we, we have the power to stop every bit of it. But basically, like we just said, so the soul, or the the degenerate level of the collective soul of real people, as the not milk has done its, its job and it's performed its trick masterfully, as the level goes down, then so, so the universe, uh, it's reflected... 
just very similar to what we just talked about in the last section in everything around us. But everything reflected around us, so the soul, well, this is actually very interesting because I'm thinking, you know, if we have the armor on. This is horseshit from our perspective. But, you know, somebody might say, Matt, you were just talking about how the, the collective of real people, the level of the soul, the degeneracy level is lowered and lowered and lowered. And in this case, you know, a primary mission of the not milk as the universe, as everything gets bad and it plays its trick, so the soul. You know, if the not milk is doing its job correctly, uh, working through its minions, then the collective uh, level of the soul and what frequencies it put out, it puts out, is is lowered. So in this way, it has reversed the polarity in its favor. It does create the universe. It presents the trick. People take the bait, and then they lower themselves, which then is a vicious cycle, reflects back out onto the universe. You know, we're we're putting an end to that cycle. That's one of the main things we can do in life is no matter what is going on, we have armor where it just simply does not affect us. Our energies and frequencies, we decide what it is. So from our perspective, however big or tiny our little group is here, we think this last part is total bullshit if it's saying what we think. As the universe goes, so the soul. No, I don't think so. Uh, the whole world could break down a hundred times worse than it already is if you can imagine that. Every person you know, every 99 out of 100, would be making a strange lifestyle choice. It could all break down thousands of times worse. Does it affect us? No, it doesn't. We have, if as long as we keep polishing our armor. So this is, as the universe goes, so the soul, ridiculous to us. However, unfortunately, this does seem to apply to the masses or, or others that we consider to be real people that are fooled. So this can be taken... Both ways. It's very interesting. I don't. I never, never heard. Matt, this is a Mandela effect. I, this part's never existed. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it just popped up this morning. I'm glad it did, though. Matt, given your opinion on all this, tell us right now, how much of this hermetic text have you read? None of it. Nothing, honey. Not, I ain't read none of it. I, I know this line. I'm allowed to interpret it. What do you know about Hermes thrice great, Matt? And I don't know nothing about him. I know he's thrice great. For what? I don't know what he's thrice great. Maybe he was a yo-yo champion, three years champion. I don't know. He's thrice great at something. Maybe there's three parts to his darn little phrase here. Maybe that's why he's thrice great. As above, so below. As within, so without. So the inverse of the soul. That's three. He's great. Thrice great for these three parts. So he's once. He's twice. (laughs) He's three times a Hermes, and I love him. Matt, you're messing with the wrong person here, whatever, the, you, you got Hermes Trismegistus, Matt, some, now or someday soon, is going to kick your ass. You don't want him waiting for you, Matt, in the portal of death, waiting in the light, instead of Bell, you're, and P- Bootsy and Puss and all the, all the cats and the grandmother, I used to call one Nani, call the other one Mamo, they're not standing there, Hermes says, y'all go away, I'm waiting for this son of a bitch with a pipe, he's going to be waiting for you. No, I don't think so. I think me actually looking through what the not Nook's trying to do and actually maybe presenting some of the better points as to what he was trying to convey and doing it in a fun way, I think he'll be waiting for me in the light with flowers. No, Matt, you're wrong. You've gone too far in insulting Hermes. Do you ever see that scene in Cape Fear? Counselor, is that you, Cal- Counselor? Well, they were actually waiting for Max Cady with the bicycle, t- bi- the pipe, the bicycle chain or whatever. Hermes is going to be waiting for you with a pipe and a bicycle chain. He won't be saying, Counselor, be like Max Cady in Cape Fear, be saying, Quantum of Conscience, Matt, oh, it's time to enter Marcellus's Wallace's basement for a while. You don't put your shit on YouTube talking about, no, I'm, I'm sticking to my guns. I'll greet Hermes Trismegistus at the moment of death as a friend. Because he might say, you saw it a little bit differently, and you didn't put the same spin on it that the not milk wanted. I think he'll, be, he'll greet me as a friend. Matt, it's broken down. Either get your act together or end the video. I'm going to get my act together just for a short while before I end the video. Now, I, I'm, it's a little homework assignment. Let's notice all the as above, so below, so below, as above, applications of all different parts of the famous phrase. Let's really tune ourselves, and it's amazing what you'll be able to see, or things will pop up. I mean, just in in general, this just popped up. Um, Okay, the atom, whatever the atom, I don't want to get into, Matt, don't you, I don't want to get into that, whatever, yelling in the truth community about, the atom, at least, all that matters, you know what matters? The presentation to us. What's really spinning around the neutron, spinning around the, I don't care what's spinning around the neutron. The presentation of this reality is what I study and look at. 
the atom, the smallest thing, extremely similar to galaxies. And some jerk is ready to come. You believe in planets and galaxies? I believe in the presentation. I'm not doing a sidebar every time for idiots. People generally know my take on what all of this is. Okay, I'm going to use the word planet. I'm going to use the word galaxies. I might even use moon mission from time to time. And some jerk will kind of, you believe in this? Sorry. Matt, it's breaking down. End it. Okay. Galaxies as above, so below. Atoms, for, it's the same thing. But it's just, it's showing you the fractal. Everything's a fractal. So I'm saying, what, hi, Tony comes and says, have the understand the relationship between you and the part that's not here. Higher self. Well, Tony, what about ultimate source creator? What about ultimate God? What about, it's like, that's 50 levels above. You're not supposed to know 50 levels above. You're not in this place to know God. You're, you're, understand one level up. Does the dream character, when you're dreaming, be like, I want to know God. I want to know 50 levels past higher self. No, no, dream character, just have the basic understanding that you're a character being in some way generated by the dude in the bed. That's all you need to know. Just be concerned with one level up, the dude floating around the waterbed. Why are you trying to go beyond that? That's not your job, dream character. You're just one dream character up in this level. Anyway, I don't know if it's broken down or not. I'm not going to re-record. Thanks for listening.